chances of seeing her. Very clear. So Odette is a, a British uh, World War II film uh, from 1950. And it's uh, based on a true story of uh, Odette Sampson. Uh, I think I pronounced that right. Anyway, played by Anne Neagle. Um, and she was a French woman living in England at the time of World War II. And she gets recruited um, by the... SOE, Special Operations Executive, this kind of spy group or spy organization during the war. And she gets uh, volunteers to get sent back to France to um, work with the resistance and to um, uh, spy for the British, basically. She was living in Britain with her, uh, I think she's got two or three daughters. And she leaves them behind and goes uh, undercover uh, in 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 France, uh, with Trevor Heard, her um, uh, her boss, and Peter Yusnov in there as well as a radio operator, and it's a pretty decent watch. This film, it's it's more engrossing because it's a true story, and the har it's a harrowing last sort of forty minutes um, where she gets captured. That's a bit of a giveaway, but uh, it's very it's shot in documentary style, which I really don't like, and. Uh, in any film, and th this film is no no different. Uh, I haven't changed my mind. I don't really like documentary style sh uh, dramatic movies. Uh, the actual kind of that element of the story is is kind of pretty flat. The last kind of um, thirty minutes, forty minutes is is gripping um, human drama and uh, great performance by Anne Eagle as um, Odette Sampson. Uh, I think I'm pronouncing that right, but uh, an incredibly brave woman. I think she got the the George Cross, um, and she was the only uh, living person to receive that. And I think she was there was many women that, that received that award. So it's, uh, she was an incredibly brave woman, uh, leaving all her family and everything behind to go and uh, this precarious kind of mission. But the mission itself is it's kind of not really shown that well, and it's not very dramatic. It's, it's a bit flat, the first half of the movie, and the second half is a really harrowing human drama uh, with torture and various other things. But yeah, not a bad little watch, really, as a, a British war movie. If you're into British war movies, uh, it's not a bad watch. That's all it from 1950.